Welcome. In this video there is lots to cover. I will go through the process of setting up an assignment. See how to link those assignments to your gradebook. What submission options are available, group submissions, and dates where you learn the difference on due versus end dates. I will also show you how to unhide that assignment and talk about granting special access. Let's get started. Once you have accessed assignments on the navigation bar, to create all that is needed is select new folder. However, in this demonstration I want to link that assignment to my gradebook. So first, let's go make sure my gradebook has that assignment item created. Under grades I see that there is my assignment of research paper and that it is value of 10 points. Perfect. I will copy the title and now, let's go create this under assignments. Select new folder. Paste the name from the gradebook. In the box, score out of enter in the same value as what is in your gradebook. Now, let's make sure it links to that item in our gradebook. Select choose grade, and then select link to existing grade item. I always spot check to make sure the values are the same. When done, click OK. Next, type out your instructions. You can upload files, and even add web links that your students may need. Next we're going to talk about the dates. You can enter a due date. Under Availability Dates and Conditions area, you can enter a start and an end date as well. Select the time from the drop-down. Next, enter in a due date which has a different function than the end date. By using the due date field, you allow your students to get their papers to you by a set time. However, this also allows students to submit later than due. It flags the submission as past due, so you can decide if you want to penalize them. When you add in an end date, this means the hyperlink that students click on to submit the assignment disappears. This stops them from being able to submit that assignment to you at all. I have my dates entered. The assignment is due, but I will give a one hour time buffer by adding the end date an hour after the due date. Under the Manage Special Access, I have a student that requires a different date. I select his name, then select the pencil icon and set a different end date than what was set for the rest of the class. You can see his time has been set. Click save and close. Under submission and completion you can select your assignment type. Here we are going to select individual, but you could select group if needed. Under Submission Type, select what type of file from the options listed. Under Submission, are you going to allow students to submit each file, or do you want to limit them to one submission allowed? If you want to be notified each time a student has submitted, enter your email address in this field. Let's now work on the Evaluation and Feedback settings. If you needed to attach an already created rubric, you can add that in here. Also, if you were using Turnitin, you would add that in this area. Lastly, make sure the folder is visible for your students. Click Save and Close. Your assignment folder has been created. Be sure to check out the other videos to learn more about using D2L. Thanks for watching.